The birthday celebrations continue two days later. The patron of Cyril Ramaphosa Foundation is marking the president's birthday by supporting struggling schools. The organization has partnered with Adopt a School Foundation to raise funds to develop schools. For more on this initiative, I'm joined by Mabatu Maboya, who is the CEO of the Cyril Ramaphosa Foundation. Mabatu, thank you for making time for us this afternoon. So the president's 70th birthday milestone coincided with the 20th anniversary of this Adopt a School Foundation that he founded in 2002. How is he celebrating this milestone today? Good afternoon, Clement. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk about this great milestone, um, particularly on how the president will be spending his, his birthday this evening. And we will be doing it through the Back to School Party, which is an annual fundraiser of Adopted School Foundation. And the annual fundraiser is in its 14th installment, and he has decided to spend the birthday through celebrating and supporting schools in disadvantaged areas. So access to equal education is so key, right? How has the foundation assisted in advancing that, especially in, in disadvantaged areas? How much ground have you been able to cover? In the past 20 years, Adopted School Foundation has worked in over 643 schools. It implements um, what we call whole school development, which looks at leadership development, curriculum support, and teacher development, infrastructure, particularly basic infrastructure, and social welfare. We have um, succeeded in, in a number of elements in making sure that we support the schools to have basic infrastructure, meaning um, number of classrooms that are required with versus the number of learners to have ablution facilities. And for some of the schools, we've even managed to build, to build libraries, media centers, as well as uh, science labs. One of the key things that we look into is the leadership of a school, which is our first entry point, is to support the schools to manage curriculum delivery through in, in, instructional leadership programs, as well as brought on leadership support for the educators and the school community. Mm -hmm. So all the elements of uh, whole school development work together to make sure that when we speak of quality education, it touches on all the elements, including social welfare aspects, such as spectacles and audio testing for the children in the schools. Yeah, and, and given, you know, the, the kind of, you know, the state of infrastructure or just even the schooling system in many disadvantaged areas, there's just a lot to do. What do you envisage mm -hmm. as the organization when it comes to the schooling environment? What do you want your efforts to produce in the long term? Um, first and foremost is that we believe in partnerships. So what we envisage is to have more and more people support the efforts of sustainable supporting of schools and um, to partner with others so that we can implement, you know, holistic programs that would definitely show us that curriculum coverage is improved. We would like to see sustainable schools and by that we mean schools that we have worked in to maintain the results, to maintain, um, you know, the, the support structures that have been put in place. And, you know, excitingly, even this evening, Clement, we would be doing school awards, awarding those schools where the educators have, in terms of matric matriculation passes, have achieved 100%, some have achieved 100% in the STEM subjects for a period of five years. Mm. And some that have improved the, you know, in terms of the number of elements that the foundation observes. So it's not only the, you know, the pass rate that is looked at, but it's all the programs, whether the teachers also participate and implement uh, the support programs that they've been through. So in, a, in, in, a, in short, is that we'd like to see more partners when we support education to do it uh, strategically to work with others so that our efforts, because not we, we would not be able to address all the challenges on our own, to work together and, and make sure that we, we pull together to make sure that the schools can you know, be sustainable and, and advance to where, where they should be. And are you seeing more partners, other stakeholders getting involved? Because as you say, um, mm -hmm. when you are dealing with things like changing the school environment and, and you do that uh, a school at a time, and that's, I suppose that's the only way you can from, from your position, you're going to need other stakeholders. Um, and are you seeing more of them raising that interest, helping with funds, with resources to help you reach you know, the, what you envisage? 
Yes, yeah, South Africa is, you know, one of the largest countries where uh, there are quite a lot of partners that are supporting the education system at different levels. And um, there are associations of education funders as well as the CSI approaches that many corporates are, are doing. We've also had um, a piloted a large partnership for the past eight years with the Free State Department of Education and Gahiso Trust, where we worked in over 200 schools and looked at a district whole school development. So with the lessons that that come out of the different programs, I would say that as partners and those that work in education, we should look at other each other's lessons learned and make sure that you know we improve on how we, we provide the delivery of quality education. Yeah. And and the government, are you doing any work with, with yes. government, perhaps you know, providing support, them providing support, some partnerships of sorts? Yes, we, we do. Um, our first entry of point is that we work in government-owned schools, in uh, no fee-paying schools, uh, quintal level one and three. And for us to work in the school, we need to have strong partnerships and um, working together with government because the educators, the school itself belongs to government. The educators are government employees. And um, the school governing body and the schools act that governs the work that we do in the schools um, it's you know it's statute it's a statute of government, and we believe that if we work with government to help attain you know the goals that are set out in the NDPs chapter nine on education, as well as some of the goals on the SDGs, it helps us to be in solidarity with broader development goals, so that mm -hmm. we don't go in and do our own thing because yeah. we think that is you know that is what's required. So it's very important to work in solidarity with the established development plans in yeah. the country. Mabatu Maboya, uh, thank you so much for making time for us. She's the CEO of the Cyril Ramaphosa Foundation. Now, hundreds of people took to the streets of Senegal's capital to demand the release of a journalist, Pape Aleni.